हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इतिश्री ट्यूटोरियल्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज ए ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ ब्रिटिश लिटरेरी पीरियड गाइस हिस्टोरियंस हैव डेलिनेटेड द ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर इन डिफरेंट वेज ओवर टाइम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द लिटरेरी एजेस लेट्स नो वाट आर दोज लिटरेरी पीरियड्स first one is old english period or anglo saxon period and the timeline is 450 ad to 1066 ad then middle english period 1066 ad to 1500 ad then renaissance 1500 to 1660 ad then the new classical period 1660 to 1785 then romantic period 1785 to 1832 Then Victorian period that is eighteen hundred thirty two to nineteen hundred one. Then Edwardian period nineteen hundred one to nineteen hundred fourteen. Then Georgian period nineteen hundred ten to nineteen hundred ninety thirty six. Next is the modern period nineteen hundred fourteen to nineteen hundred forty five. And the last one is the post modern period nineteen hundred forty five to till date. Let's discuss about old English period. Old English period, which is also known as Anglo-Saxon period, and the timeline of this period is 450 AD to 1066 AD. Anglos and Saxons, we are two Germanic tribes. After the fall of Western Roman Empire in the early 5th century, three Germanic tribes, Angles, Saxons, and Jews, migrating to Britain to fill up the power gap. The language brought by those Anglo-Saxon settlers together, with some Latin and Celtic words, became Old English. There are a good number of words that uh, have survived in modern-day English. Nowadays, we are using such words, such uh, words, their year, day, kiss, love, etc. This era ends in 1066 when Norman. been norman french under william conquered england much of the first half of this period had oral literature about battles gods and heroes there are three types of poetry such as heroic poetry and the classic example of heroic poetry is beowulf the first english epic poem that narrates a brave hero beowulf next is lyric poet that poetry that is one its example is wanderer and seafarer then christian poetry and its example is dream of the poets the most famous religious poets of the anglo saxon period are cadmon and cynewulf cadmon is famous for his hymn in which he praises in honor of god and cynewulf's famous religious poems are juliana the fates of the apostles christ and elen the famous anglo saxon king alfred the great translated most of the famous latin chronicles in english alpric was the second famous prose writer here saint augustine who came to england 19597 ad converted england to a christian nation and the prose developed after spreading of christianity Alpric was the second famous prose writer and his writings are lives of the saint homilies grammar etc The next period we move into is middle english period or anglo norman period which starts from 1066 AD to and ends in 1500 AD The anglo saxon period flourished until the normal conquest of 1066 by defeating the last saxon king harold by william normans brought with them rich french culture and language and norman normal french was the language of the rich people where english was spoken by poor and powerless people poor and powerless people they told the stories of king arthur the war of troy and alexander the great at this time two inbor cities established 
they are oxford and cambridge oxford university in 12th century and cambridge university in 13th century let's know some of the famous poets of this period and their notable works philip de thorn is a famous poet and his writing was livre this creature it was probably written in 1100 19 and bester is his another work which is published in 1121 next writer regland of canterbury he wrote the legend of saint malnos in 1112 william langland wrote a vision of pierce the plowman which is a satire on the corrupt religious practice next writer is john gower and his writing is confession amenities written in the form of conversation between the divine interpreter and the poet john wickliff translated latin bible into english the most famous writer of this age was chaucer geoffrey chaucer and the timeline is 1340 ad to 1400 He is the father of English literature and English poetry. Geoffrey Chaucer lived under the rule of three kings. They are Edward III, Richard II, and Henry IV. The famous works of Chaucer are Canterbury Tales, which is a collection of stories narrated by pilgrims of different sections of society on the way to Thomas Becket's inn. Total twenty four tales of thirty one pilgrims are recorded. Next work is Book of Duchess, then House of Fame, Parliament of Fall, Trilogy and Cressida, Legend of Good Women. These are the notable works of Chaucer. Then the notable events of this time period are hundred years of war. Fought in between England and France. It occurred in thirteen hundred thirty-seven to fourteen hundred fifty-three A.D. And then Black Death that occurred in thirteen hundred forty. Peasant Rebellion in thirteen hundred forty-eight. These are the notable events of this time period. Let's move on to our next period that is Renaissance period. timeline of renaissance period is 1500 ad to 1660 ad before entering into this period i wanted to explain the meaning of word renaissance it means revival or rebirth in europe the darkness of the middle ages was replaced by the enlightenment of human mind with the revival of learning So this age was the golden age of history of English literature. Let's discuss some major characteristics of Renaissance period. Main characteristics was its focus on humanism, that is, man's concern with himself. The rebirth of naturalism, create non-religious theme, advancement of new technology. shift in balance of power among europeans ruling elite the belief that men are responsible for their own action these are the main characteristics of this is let's know some notable events of this period the arrival of printing press happened in this period then war of roses the war between house of york and house of lancaster The Tudor dynasty started in this period, and Henry VII was the first Tudor king. Guys, this period is subdivided into four parts: Elizabethan age, Jacobian age, the Carolingian age, Commonwealth period. Let's discuss Elizabethan age. Elizabethan age came. The timeline is 1558 AD to 1603 AD. Elizabeth came to reign after the death of her half sister Queen Mary. 
she is also called the virgin queen gloriana and the good queen bess her reign is called the golden age of england and she belongs to tudor dynasty and daughter of henry 8 you as the daughter of henry elizabeth was a protestant who established english protestant church and they her period is marked by revival of classical greek and italian literature during elizabethan age education and humanities are given importance some notable figure of this period are christopher marlowe the father of english dramatic poetry francis bacon edmund spenser sir walter ralph william shakespeare john lilly charles bell thomas kidd robert green next is jacobian is and the name this is is named for the reign of james ward james one the first ward king and the timeline is 1603 to 1625 gunpowder treasure was the main event occurred in jacobian period and it was a conspiracy to murder james one The famous writer of this period are Shakespeare, John Donne, Michael Drayton, John Webster, Elizabeth Cary, Wayne Johnson, Lady Mary Wood. After Jacobian age, we have Caroline age. This age covers the reign of Charles I, son of James I, and timeline is 1625 to 1649. Some famous writers of this period were John Milton, Robert Burton, and George Herbert. Next comes Commonwealth period, and the timeline is 1649 to 1660. Civil war took place between King Charles I and Parliament in 1649. After that, Oliver Cromwell ruled the nation. In this age, public theatres were closed. John Milton, Thomas Hope, Thomas Stoller, Abraham Cowley, and Andrew Marvell were some of the notable writers of this age. The next period we will move on to is the New Classical period, and the timeline is 1660 to 1785 AD. Let's know some features of this period. They have strong interest in tradition. that great respect for classical writer literature was the arts the emphasis is on reason and logic the stresses harmony stability and wisdom some notable works happened in this period are coffee house culture started in this is the dictionary of english language dictionary of english language was published by samuel johnson in this neo classical period This time period is divided into two parts: the Restoration period and Classical age. The Restoration period or the age of Dryden and Classical age or Augustan age. Classical age is further divided into two distinct period: age of Pope and age of Johnson. So we can say totally there are four. This period is div- uh, subdivided into four periods. Let's start the first period. Let's discuss about the Restoration period, from 1660 to 1700. The timeline of this period is 1660 to 1700. It's called the Restoration period because monarchy was restored in England, and Charles II came back to England from his exile, and he became the king. Again, it is called the Age of Dryden because Dryden was the most significant literary figure of this age. the puritans we are finally defeated and puritan spirit with its moral discipline and love of liberty also became a thing of the past theater ban was finally lifted in this age the restorian comedies or you can say comedies of manner developed during this time under the talent of playwrights like congreve and john dryden Samuel Butler's satire was also popular, and uh, let's know some of the notable writers of this age. They are Abraham, John Bunyan, and John Locke. Next is classical age or Augustan age, which was the time of Alexander Pope and Jonathan Swift, and uh, the timeline of uh, 
क्लासिकल एज इज सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड टू सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एट एज ऑफ डानियल डोफो एंड लेडी मेरी ओटली मुंटक वॉज पॉपुलर इन दिस एज सो डानियल डोफो एंड लेडी मेरी ओटली मुंटक वॉज पॉपुलर इन दिस एज द एज ऑफ जॉनसन और द एज ऑफ सेंसिबिलिटी वॉज द टाइम ऑफ एडमंड ब्रॉक एंड एडवर्ड गिवन हेस्टर्लिन जेम्स बोसवेल सम ऑफ द चैंपियन नोवेलिस्ट ऑफ दिस पीरियड वर हेनरी फील्डिंग Samuel Richardson to be so omelet Lawrence Stone William Cooper Next is romantic period and this period covers 1798 to 1837 It was the most flourished period in history of English literature started with publication of lyrical ballad in 1798 Let's discuss <coughs> some characteristics of this period. Nature plays a huge role as well as people. There was a focus on emotion, and emotion is a key feature of this period. Celebration of the power and creativity and imagination. The emphasis on emphasis is on the aesthetic beauty. they had solitary themes means they celebrated the feelings of being alone they focuses on exoticism and history means romantic literature has a distinct focus on exotic location and events from history there was an antique touch of ancient culture next picture we can say they had supernatural and super spiritual and supernatural elements super spiritual and supernatural elements would be are the part of their writings gothic motifs contrast between life and death depression guilt we are the elements of romantic literature romantic literature had vivid sensory description that means they use simile and metaphor and other sensory details they focus on self and autobiography they focused on the simplicity of language and choose the language of common people let's take a look the difference between classicism and romanticism classicism was the age of prose where romantic Romanticism was the age of poetry. Classicism laid stress upon the impersonal aspects of life, whereas romantic literature openly shifted the center of art to the personal aspects of individuals. Heroic couplet was the only form of writing in poetry in classical age, but in romantic period, poets focused on simple and natural diction. Some of famous writers of this period are Robert Burns, William Blake, William Wordsworth, S.T. Coleridge, Lord Byron, P.V. Shelley, Keats, John Austin, Mary Shelley, Charles Lamb, Matthew Lewis, Anne Radcliffe, and William Beckford are famous Gothic writers of this age. The next period we move on to is the Victorian period. The Victorian period named for the Queen Victoria, who crowned in eighteen hundred thirty-seven and last until her death in nineteen hundred one. Different modes of communication was advanced in this period. Child labor was being condemned in this period. Huge improvements in technology happened in. happened due to industrial revolution the a great exhibition took place in 1851 the great exhibition when it was took place 1851 where manufactured good uh, of britain manufactured goods of britain were displayed to displayed in uh, crystal palace social injustice was found due to working conditions This is the age where intellectual and development happen. The origin of species published in this period in uh, 1859. Rise of 
রবার্ট এলিজাবেথ বারেট ব্রাউনিং ক্রিস্টিয়ান রোজেডি আলফ্রেড লর্ড টেনিসন ম্যাথিউ আন্ডার চার্লস টিকিন চার্লোটি অ্যান্ড এমিলি ব্রোনের এলিজাবেথ গাস্কেল থমাস হার্ডি থমাস সামুইল বাটলার আর দ্য পপুলার রাইটার্স অফ দিস পিরিয়ড লিস্ট নো সাম অফ দ্য ফেমাস রাইটিংস অফ দিস পিরিয়ড শো ডেলো ইউলি সেস ইন মেমোরিয়াম লোটস সিটার ক্রাই অফ দ্য চিলড্রেন ডোভো বিচ পেন্টার অ্যান্ড পোয়েট অলিভার টুইস্ট হার্ড টাইমস ভ্যানিটি ফেয়ার উইদিং হাইট আর দ্য সাম অফ দ্য নোটেবল ওয়ার্কস অফ দিস এজ নেক্সট দ্য এডভার্টেন পিরিয়ড অ্যান্ড দ্য টাইম লাইন ইজ নাইনটিন হান্ড্রেড ওয়ান টু নাইনটিন হান্ড্রেড ফোরটিন দিস পিরিয়ড কভার্স দ্য পিরিয়ড বিটুইন ভিক্টোরিয়াস ডেথ অ্যান্ড ফার্স্ট ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ার অ্যান্ড নেমড ফর দ্য কিং এডওয়ার্ড সেভেন্থ সাম অফ দ্য নোটেবল রাইটার্স অফ দিস পিরিয়ড আর জোসেফ কনরাড ফোর্ড মার্ডক্স রুডিয়ার কিপলিং এস জি বেলস হেনরি জেমস জিবি শ জন গালসোদি ডব্লু পি ইস্ট দেন জর্জিয়ান পিরিয়ড অ্যান্ড দ্য টাইম লাইন ইজ নাইনটিন হান্ড্রেড টেন টু নাইনটিন হান্ড্রেড থার্টি সিক্স দ্য টাইম লাইন অফ দ্য রেন অফ জর্জ we refers to the georgian period the themes and subject tended to be rural and pastoral in nature in this period important authors of this period are ralph hardgan john masfield w h davis and rupert brooke then comes the modern period and the timeline is 1914 to 1945 modern period starts during first world war and it is also known as the age of machinery let's discuss some of features of the of this period modern literature opposed the general attitude of victorian writers and people of life they no longer believed in the sanctity of home life they do practical experiments society became fragmented marxism and socialism become popular as a result Russian revolution led to the establishment establishment of communist government two events world war 1 which took place in between 1914 to 1918 and the great depression that occurred in 1929 to 1930 when stock market got completely crashed crashed affected people very badly so first world war and the great depression completely affected people in this period modern writers saw a decline in civilization and degradation in humanity after sigmund freud published interpretation of dream in 1900 modern writers became interested in functioning of mind this led to stream of consciousness novels at that time symbolism was used there were plenty of literary movements occurred in this period let's know some of them dadaism which is con- which consisted of articles who rejected logic reason and aesthetic of modern society then surrealism it is a movement in literature which focused on releasing the creative potential of the unconscious mind just like dream like scenes imagism it is a movement in poetry that describes visual images with great focus and simple language it was pioneered by isra pound then cubism it was a movement pioneered by picasso and uh, this movement wanted to show all the possible view, view points of a person or an object all at once next is symbolism in this the writers express their individual expression through the subtle use of symbols some notable writers of this period are thomas hardy joseph conrad g b so w b is isra pound f s wisgard and some important war poets are wilfred on rupert brooke sigmund sasson sigfred sasson sasson last period is post modern age and uh, the timeline is 1945 to till date 
This period starts after the Second World War in 1945. Everything was fragmented and writers started to celebrate the disorientation and absurdity instead of finding logic and rationality. Authors tend to reject outright meaning in their writing. Instead, highlight it. They celebrate the possibility of multiple meaning in a single work, single literary work. Their stories often rely on parody and satire. Theatre Act of 1968 abolished censorship of the stage in Britain. Theatre of the Absurd Literary Movement in Britain by Samuel Beckett and Harold Pinter started in this period. The plays of Theatre of Absurd do not have clear ending or characters. And the actions are not logical at that time. They were giving long pause between the dialogues. Again, a revolt against social inequality raised in this period that is um, known as Young Angry Men Theatre. John Osborne's Look Back in Anger is the best example of this movement. Divorce, sexual abuse, depression are the theme of conventional movement emerged in this period. Writers like Sylvia Path and Anne Sackton are famous writers of this book. Yes. And I love. This is all about history of English literature. See you in, your, in our next video. Till then, bye bye and take care. Please subscribe my channel and like the video. Thank you.